गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम टू इलियन मार्केट्स वी आर हियर इन द मॉर्निंग टू डिस्कस द इंपॉर्टेंस एंड द मेथड हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस एनआईएसएम सीरीज ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन नाउ मेनी ऑफ अस आर अनअवेयर दैट व्हाट डज एनआईएसएम मीन एंड व्हाट इज एक्चुअली एनआईएसएम एनआईएसएम इज अ पब्लिक ट्रस्ट बेसिकली which is established by our regulator sebi sebi is the financial regulator of the securities market in india now what does this nism do it seeks to add market quality through educational initiatives its main aim is to catalyze and reach deliver educational initiatives to enhance the quality of the securities market through these different types of examinations which it undertakes these examinations have been developed by nism and they are mandated by our regulator sebi let us have a look at what are the different exams which nism has to offer NISM has a series of examinations which it offers the important ones are like the currency derivative uh, certificate examination now as we can see here on the screen these are the list of some examinations and these are the people who are required to take it as a very basic for people who are dealing the terminal or in the marketing sales personnel working in the currency segment for these individuals this exam is mandatory to operate the currency derivative terminal you have to pass the currency derivative certification exam which is offered by the nism then comes the series 8 which is the equity derivative certificate examination which is again important for dealers and marketing sales personnel working in equity derivative segment we then have the nism series 4 which is concentrated on the interest rate derivative and it is a certificate examination on that and again it is mandatory for dealers dealing in the interest rate segment and for sales personnel working in the interest rate derivative segment now there's a new exam which has been launched by ns nism in the last year at the end of december which is nism series 13 common derivative certification exam now this is a combination of all these three exam that is nism series 1 series 8 and series 4 which includes the currency derivative segment equity derivative and interest rate derivative segment series 13 is inclusive of all these three exams and one may choose to give only these this series 13 exam and is eligible for all these three exams either we can give these three exams individually separately or we can just give one exam which is nism series 13 which is equivalent to series 1 8 and 4 Then we also have uh, NISM series 5B, which is about the mutual fund. And anybody who wants to become a simple mutual fund advisor or distributor, it is mandatory for them to give this exam. There are other examinations also which NISM offers, which are like the equity derivatives, merchant banking certificate examination. Then we have the 10A. investment advisor level 1 and level 2 certificate examination 10a and 10b we can get a complete list of this nism series of exam on their website but the next question is how do we be register for this exam we log on to their nism website and there there is clear instruction as in how to register for the exam you need to pay online the examination amount and a nearby test center you need to prepare for this exam and give this test at the nearby test center now uh 
the next question which comes into our mind is why is this NISM exam and what is the importance of this exam? Number one, it is mandatory for people who are dealing in the financial markets, who are the dealers and for the terminal point of view, these exams are mandatory. And the second most important reason for this NISM exam is for knowledge. It is a very, very basic uh, certification and for any individual who is looking to have a career in the financial market, it is a, it is a very good starting point. It adds a lot of value to your resume whenever you are seeking out for jobs. And nowadays, even in MBA colleges, people who want to take up finance, uh, certificated exams like NISM 5B, mutual fund certification exam has been included as a part of the curriculum. So even there you need to have these exam uh, certificates. Now let us discuss the details of the NISM series 13 common derivative exam. As we can see that if we know the series 13, we are automatically entitled to three uh, certificates that is series 1, currency derivative, series 4, which is the interest rate derivative, and series 8, which is the equity derivative examination. So passing one series 13 examination is getting you a certificate equivalent to three exams. Now, the objective of the common derivative exam is to know the basics of equity, currency, and the bond markets. This exam also helps us to understand the various trading strategies that can be built using futures and options. This exam also seeks to understand the trading clearing and settlement mechanism which is undertaken in the financial markets. Also, it helps us educate about the regulatory environment of the market operations in India. Let us quickly have a look at the assessment structure of this particular exam. It is a 150 mark online exam with 150 questions each. 150 questions with one mark each. The duration to this exam is three hours and we must know that there is a negative marking of 0.25 percent for every wrong answer marked. And to pass this exam we need at least a 60 percent that is 90 marks to get the certificate. For other exams like NISM series 1 4 and 8 which is equity standalone interest rate derivative or uh, currency standalone. The duration to those exams are 2 hours but the passing score remains the same which is 60 percent. Let us have a look at the chapter wise breakup of this exam. As we can see in this pie diagram the 16%, 17% wastage is being given to the introduction to the underlying markets and clearing and settlement and risk management systems and uh, different uh, strategies using the futures market. We can have a more detailed look with the chapter wise breakup with mark which we can see on this slide. We have some 10 chapters in this series which includes basics of derivatives which has a 4% weightage in the examination. Then we have the introduction to the underlying markets which basically speaks about the underlying assets of the derivative market which are the equities, the bonds, the currencies etc. 24 marks uh, of questions or rather 24 questions can be seen in the examination which is approximately 16% of weightage. Then we have introduction to forwards and futures market wherein we can see that 20 questions would be there from this chapter. 
strategies using futures and introduction to options will have again 24 questions and 22 questions. Option strategies will have only 4 questions in the exam. Introduction to trading, clearing, settlement and risk management will have 25 questions. Legal and regulatory environment 14. Accounting and taxation and sales and practices 6 and 5 respectively. Making it a total of around 150 questions. So as we can see over here that the most important topics in this examination is introduction to the underlying markets which would be covering the equity segment of the financial markets, the interest rate and the currency segment. Then we have the trading clearing settlement and strategies of futures. These are the three main chapters which is there from the examination point of view.